Hi everybody, this is Liam from Running Remote. This is gonna be a quick one and quite possibly a uh, bit of a rant. So I wanna have a rant warning at the beginning of this video before I get into it because I was a little triggered by uh, a recent video clip that I saw from Sandeep, who is the new interim, I don't really know, CEO of WeWork talking about remote workers and their engagement inside of the workplace. Here's the clip just for context. Words flexibility come to mind all the time. Uh, the words hybrid comes to mind with every company all the time. Uh, you know, but one thing we've seen is there is a common note. No one is saying they don't want to go to work. They're saying, I want to go to work two, three days a week. I want to work for my my place, whatever my place is, my comfort zone, a day or two a week. And I like to work from home a day a week, right? Uh, and, and so, and effectively, it's also pretty obvious that those who are overly engaged with the company want to go to the office two thirds of the time at least. Those who are least engaged are very comfortable working from home. So it's very interesting the studies that have come out uh, and, and, and effectively, Today, okay, you know, more CEOs are talking about bringing their people back to work. But most CEOs are talking about, hey, they have Zoom fatigue. I mean, Jamie Dimon said there was Zoom fatigue. The CEO of Zoom himself actually said, I think in the last couple of days, that he had Zoom fatigue, right? So it is actually saying something that if you want to collaborate, innovate, build culture, okay, the office is an important part of what you do. So in essence, Sandeep is saying that remote workers are not engaged and they're basically not very good workers and workers that are super engaged and high performers want to actually go back to the office. Now, this guy works for WeWork. WeWork's interests are to have large corporations sublease their space. So I kind of understand that, but he is absolutely and completely wrong on this. And this is the thing that is really frustrating to me is that you're not actually setting the record straight. So I got the receipts. I'm gonna break it down for you. What is the difference between an office worker's productivity and a remote worker's productivity? The data is very clear. Remote workers are more productive and more engaged with their work than their in-office counterparts. Every single study that I have seen up until this point has stated that remote workers are better at their job, they are more productive, they get more work done than their in-office counterparts. We also have a ton of te technological studies that we've done at Time Doctor that prove exactly the same thing. Very specifically, clients that were in the office and actually transitioned to remote, we found a 50% increase in the amount of productive time that they were spending on their work days without a reduction in their unproductive time. I can link to you the, to those types of studies, but the thing that kind of just really <laughs> to be completely honest with you, and I apologize for swearing, he actually had no data to be able to support this. He actually apologized for his statement and he stated that he was looking at a study that WeWork did where they pulled a thousand workers and CEOs and analyzed what they were doing with regards to going back to the office. So when I looked at the study, I've read it, and guess what? It doesn't say that at all. It actually says the polar opposite. It says 95% of employees want some level of control over how, where, and when they work. And 96% of companies are willing to give them that control. That means 96% of companies are willing to say, would you like to work in an office? Would you like to work from home? Would you like to work in a hybrid or work flexible environment? It is up to you. This is like 64% of employees would personally pay for access to an office space or a location of their choice. Not going back to the office, but the ability to choose where they want to work. And 79% of C-suites plan to actually let their employees split their time between corporate offices and remote work working if the job allows for it. So basically that means 75% 
of the C-suite are stating, if you wanna work from home, you can work from home. If you wanna work in the office, you can work in the office. It's work freedom. 76% of C-suites also say they're likely to give their employees a stipend to work from home or a co-working space. So the data is completely incorrect. His own study that he's referencing has nothing to do with employees being more engaged. And not only that, it's stating 96% of companies are actually willing to allow people to work from home or work from the office or work in a hybrid environment. It is honestly up to them. Sandeep, Dude, I mean, I know you apologized, but just like get your receipts right, man. Like if you had a study, reference the study, work those numbers for crying out loud. Be quantifiably based. You're the CEO of a disaster of a company. You need to get your SHIT together. Otherwise, WeWork is not gonna make it through this. So rant over. Um, remote work is great. If you want to learn about any of the studies that we have done internally or the studies that I've looked at, as an example, uh, the most recent one stated that 30% of workers would actually quit their job if they were forced to go back to the office. I am more than happy to be able to give you all of that information down in the comments below where you should comment, ask me questions, like this video, and subscribe to this YouTube channel because I don't necessarily rant in every single one, but I do talk about remote work in pretty much every video that we do. I'll see you in the next one.